All right, investors are optimistic about their investment goals, according to a new survey. And we are joined now by Frederick Axeter from Wells Fargo, the firm behind the survey. So, Frederick, 72% of respondents are confident about their investment goals over the next five years. But with the record rally we've had, are people going to be disappointed in the sense that some of these big returns might not last? I, I think you're right. I think there is some, uh, you know, historically we've seen quite a bit of correlation between past returns and kind of the, the, the optimism. And, and like you're saying, it's, you know, people feel after this rally that we've seen, you're optimistic about meeting your five-year goals. So what kind of returns in the S&P 500, for example, should we expect every year for the next decade? I think the long-term uh, kind of sustainable growth rate is, is in the order of 7%. And we feel that, that uh, moderately optimistic uh, for the U.S., but we in particular see it, um, investment opportunities outside of the U.S., especially around small cap international equities. And this is something that came up also in our survey. What else are you telling clients about 2018, especially when it comes to the markets? Are there certain sectors that you should be overweight, underweight? Well, one of the things that, that, that came up in the survey is that um, investors feel hesitant about taking the money outside of the U.S., in fact, 53% of investors think that, that outside of the U.S. investments are much more risky, or at least a bit more risky. Do you think that's wrong? I think they're, they're in, a, in a way, exaggerating. Yeah, that, that, and, and especially this is with older investors that think there are political risks outside of the U.S. Mm -hmm. I think there are political risks everywhere uh, mm -hmm. from an investment perspective. So it, the, the mo most important thing is a, a well-diversified portfolio across all markets. Do you like overseas stocks better than U.S.? from a valuation point of view, that overseas stocks haven't run up as much as U.S. stocks have? Yes, it's both from a valuation standpoint and also uh, because they're, they're kind of in an earlier stage of their economic recovery. Mm -hmm. there, there's some, some good opportunities from that standpoint. All right, what about Bitcoin? I mean, the surge has been incredible. Is that an investment in your view? You know, it's something that, that we're starting to hear about from investors and even in 401k plans. But I think that in, it kind of as a, as a place in a long-term portfolio, I say no. Mm. So it's more of a gamble? It's, it's more of a, at least a short-term trade, mm. you know, and, and you can view it as a gamble. Maybe you have other information, but it's, it's not a long-term core holding in my mind. All right. Frederick Axeter, we'll watch how it all plays out. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.